Well, welcome to another introductory interview. I'm here with Nathan White of Familiar Ring. My name is Evan Bird. I'm the Vice President of Social Media for the Acapella Club. And Nathan, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit? Uh, yeah, thank you, Evan. <laughs> uh, I am Nathan White. Like you said, I am uh, the president of Familiar Ring this year. Uh, I originally grew up in the Chicago area. I uh, lived in the same house my whole life, went to school there, et cetera, et cetera. I uh, was in band all through middle and high school uh, and started doing acapella my senior year of high school. Got into my uh, school's acapella group. And when I came to BYU uh, in 2020, I decided that I wanted to do some more musical things with my voice as I kept going because uh, it's a skill I never really uh, particularly focused on because I was in band all the time. So I decided to check out the acapella club this last year and auditioned, got into Familiar Ring, and then uh, the, the group voted me to be the president this year. So Nice. And, you know, we're glad to have you. You're, you're a man of many talents. You, you know, you have a great vocal range. You've, I know I've heard you sing down from bass up to you know, baritone kind of lower tenor stuff. I've heard you beatbox. You've helped with the, you know, with the mixing table during some of our concerts. So, you know, how, they, how has it been just kind of being that involved with all, with all the different aspects of performing and, you know, leading a group now and just kind of like, what's kind of that dynamic been like? Yeah. Um, all through high school, I've loved uh, working behind the scenes. I worked in theater, working backstage, doing lights and sound. So that's where uh, I gathered those skills to be able to help uh, mixing at our concerts and stuff in the acapella club. Um, yeah, that's where I got that from. And I've just been rediscovering enjoying performing and i really feel like i vibe with the guys of in familiar ring and it's just it's been a big help to get me comfortable performing because most of the time i've been behind the scenes and it was a great confidence booster to me for all the the guys to want to vote me into the leadership after only being in the group for a year even though, you know, it's, you know, it's hard to have faith in yourself sometimes. This is very new to me. Last year was the first time, well, it was the second acapella group I've ever been in. And like mm -hmm. you said, I beat, I started beatboxing for the group as well. It was my first time beatboxing for a group. So I've kind of just thrown myself into these situations, but I feel like it's really, uh, really going to help me grow. And I'm really excited to be able to work with the group this year and, uh, I'm certain I'm not going to have all the ideas and all the right directions to take the group. My job is to sit there and listen to the group and uh, gather ideas from them and bring those together and try and give the group a direction. So I'm excited to do that. That's awesome. And so Familiar Ring, for, for those of you watching, is the, it's the oldest running auditioned acapella group in the club, if I'm not mistaken. You guys are coming up on 15 years now something like that jordan jordan the president of the acapella club but no better he's also a member of familiar ring and he's put in some efforts to gather together some of the alumni and yeah there's a big legacy <laughs> behind us so I, I mean so i was in parallel motion last year which was at the time the other uh all-male group and we kind of we, I remember we made, you know, a couple of jokes during like the jams or the, you know, our, our Valentine's concert where like, we were like the, you know, like the Kirkland brand vocal point. And you guys were like the, you know, the men's warehouse vocal point. Um, so <laughs> kind of just talking about like, you know, what, what would you kind of consider Familiar Ring's mission statement, like what their, their goal for, the group because obviously it's been working it, you guys have stayed together for you know well it's been continuous throughout the years so like what's kind of been like the your mission as you know, as familiar ring oh yeah like like you said 
um, calling you guys the Kirkman brand. And previously, I think you guys called yourself Walmart brand vocal point. Yeah, we graduated. Um, we climbed up yeah, the ladder. You graduated <laughs> yourself. Uh, we always joke about that we're the old school vocal point. And uh, we focus more on those little goofy songs um, and just having fun on stage. And a lot of times uh, we have love ballads or other fun, energetic love songs to um, just fit with the vibe of the group. I, uh, the original goal of the group, I, I believe it's on our website, um, says that the originators of the group started the group in order to find girls, to get married. And it, it says there on the website, all of them are now married and off doing well. So it works. Now, yeah, I, think, I think mission accomplished. Exactly. That There's our mission. We're just here to have fun and to grab attention of some uh, lovely ladies that we would also be interested in as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> And all the while, all the while performing very, you know, high end music. I've, I've been like, I've been thoroughly impressed with, you know, with what familiar rings been able to do in the past. Um, I've like, uh, I believe, I, I don't know if it's, I haven't done all the research, but at least in my experience and from what I was, what I was able to gather from past years of the jam that I've watched, I believe familiar ring is the only group to perform an original song in a jam. I know parallel motion. We did one for Valentine's, but like in an, in the acapella jam, I'm pretty sure you guys are the first, the only group that I know of at least to perform an originally written song, the, um, uh, fall like with a capital L or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Capital L was one we did last year and it got on the album. And then there was another song written by, I believe the same guy, uh, the previous year before that was also on the album so he was a very talented member wrote a couple songs and of course we've sung them so yeah we we do enjoy uh, writing some songs uh, I'm certainly not at that level although I just started <laughs> pushing myself and I uh, arranged my first song so hopefully I can put that with the group and we can work out any bumps in the road that it has and get it figured out <laughs> Yeah. Um, so with auditions coming up on Tuesday, so I, I know that you've lost a couple of your of your key singers. So what kind of parts are you looking for you know, in, in this upcoming audition? Yeah, um, we're looking for a low bass and a high tenor and fill those um, fill those necess necessary spots. Also a beatboxer as well. Um, I, I have been filling in as a beatboxer because we didn't have a dedicated beatboxer, but we would like to have the flexibility to switch off. If I want to sing a song or our new beatboxer wants to sing a song, he and mm -hmm. I can switch off and yeah, it just gives us more flexibility as a group, but definitely that bass and high tenor and then just some mid ranges to help us fill in the group as well. Awesome. And so you you said that you kind of you had started acapella in high school, but this is like the first like, but like this is the first time you're you know getting kind of involved with all the different aspects. You know, you mentioned arranging, you you know you taught yourself how to beatbox, and so like what's kind of been like what it what would be like the best bit of advice that you would give someone who's trying who's starting this journey for the first time? Let's you know someone who's you know, maybe hasn't done acapella before, or maybe has, you know, but they're auditioning with the club for the first time. Uh, I'd say just go for it. There's a group for everyone, for sure. Um, we have uh, at least one on auditions group. We have a beatbox club as well. If people are interested in that, I haven't been able to attend any of their meetings, unfortunately, though. Maybe I'll try to, to help pick up a few more tips and tricks. But I think just just going for it and believing in yourself you know I've had little confidence boosters along the way from uh, teachers like my director in high school are uh, required in our audition for that was a little bit of beatboxing he commented that I had a strong beatbox audition so I'm like 
okay kept that in my back pocket and then was asked if anyone could beat box and i raised my hand I was like sure and so throw yourself under the bus a little not under the bus throw yourself in the bus there we go in the bus there we go and <laughs> just hop on for the ride even if you don't know how it's gonna go just try and a lot of these a lot all of these groups are a comfortable space uh for everyone to be trying new things um a lot of people attempt to arrange their own songs you know you bring it to your group and they'll give you feedback and tips and try to help you out other members in the group i know some members of the presidency like yourself and um talmage gave a, a class at our acousticon last year about arranging and yeah, he I went did. to that and found it pretty helpful and yeah so throw yourself out there learn what you can pick up a little tips and tricks along the way and talk to people because people want to help you and we in the club are here to help you guys grow and learn yeah thanks so much for that nathan it's, it's really good advice um we're kind of running out of time but you know once again thanks so much for for meeting with me and you know definitely if you're a guy and you're looking for a special someone and you want to woo them with music familiar is a, they're obviously a great option and you know they're and so any guys particularly guys with a high or a low voice please please audition come to auditions uh send this to a friend of yours with one of those voices and we'll hopefully see you on tuesday yeah